So on E-Class, I'm going to use my playground to create a virtual programming lab exercise. So I go into edit mode and then down at the bottom, I'm going to hit new or add an activity. I'm going to replicate an old exercise I had. I go into all here, type in VPL, find my VPL icon. I give it the basic description or the title for the activity. This is what the students will see as the, the main title. I date it because it's my playground. And I uh, give a short description and then a full description uh, would be what the students would actually see. So a flow chart or something else could go in here if I wanted to. I'm going to set, uh, let's see, grades to one. So it's a one out of one grade. I like to have low grades for, uh, for each activity. So it's low risk. Hit save. And then I get the basic option here and then I go to more. I'm going to go to requested files. And in requested files, this is what the student will be prompted with, the student submission.py in this case file. It's a template. You can make it as filled in or as sparse as you want. You can put comments in here. This is what the students will edit during their exercise. So for an intro course, I like to put a lot of description in here. Maybe just leave out a couple of keywords so they can get used to the whole process. Um, here you can see I put in some comments. They get to see all this, they get to edit it later. And when it's all done, you hit the diskette icon up at the top to save it. Okay, now I go back to my blog page where I've got all the basic files set up. I cut and paste it, place it in here and save it. Now I go to more and execution options. In here, I need to turn on running and evaluation and automatic grades. That's my workflow, at least for my files. Now I go to execution files and now I'm going to fill in the scripts, the run script and the evaluation script. So VPL run is the run script. And this is the script that will run the Python files without granting a mark to the student. So they can practice with this script. They don't see the script itself. Um, and then I'm going to put in the evaluation one. And this is the one that allows the students to submit for grades. So I'm going to copy and paste that from the blog page, put it in here. That's under VPL underscore evaluate dot SH. You can see that it has a grade of either one or zero in here. I save it. I'm going to go back to my settings and show you that I also have to set the grade here to one. So a maximum grade of one on E class and a maximum grade of one on VPL. Next up, I have to add in the Python file that does the unit testing. And I hit that plus button in VPL or on E class. Create the file name right here, which is primary file.py. And in the editor, I just paste in. And this file was generated for me by uh, ChatGPT. I don't know much about Python. It's got the unit testing in here. It's got three tests it does on three different pairs of numbers for addition to make sure that it, it aligns with what the student will submit. I hit the save button, the diskette icon, and I then go to take a look at local execution servers. Typically, you would want to put in the server that is at your university. But let's say you don't, you leave this blank and you save it. And then you go to edit. And this is the view that students will see when they run virtual programming labs. So here's that, uh, the, the definition of the, the basic function, uh, C plus C is equal to A plus B. That's it. I hit save, then the rocket icon and the run script runs. And it shows that it couldn't find the file. And the reason was because I had to edit files to keep one when running. There you can see I checked it. Otherwise the sandbox inside of VPL doesn't work. Okay, I hit the rocket button and it evaluates. And you can see that it passed. The word pass appears because the unit test passed. Now I'm going to evaluate for marks and you can see that the student has received one out of one because it said okay pass. If I change the file, so it's A minus B instead of A plus B, then I get a zero because it's not the right function. And you can see the word fail shows up. There we go. So that's basically what we have for VPL. Okay. 
the grading works, etc. Now, behind the scenes, this is using the developer's execution server, which is free to use. But if you have a local server that you want to use with your own special version of Python, etc., with special libraries, you have to enter in the local execution server here. And if you get the name of that execution server wrong, you'll get an error like this.